Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching yet another episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. It's Thursday night, and you know what that means. It's time for your TNA Event Center Wrestling Report. And now here's the man to give you that report, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans 1977, episode 1672 of the show. This will be the final video for the day. Uh, it's, it's September the 12th, 2024, as you all know. This game finally came out on uh, on the digital side of uh, side of things. If you're getting the physical thing, you have to wait a couple more months. I have done that, so pre-order pre -order yours now. Be smart. And uh, just really, really, you know, having a lot of fun. I played it. A lot of it. It's really cool so far. I'm trying to get used to the controls. So you can remember now, none of these games came out for an for on a Nintendo console, so um, when uh, when the uh, the Punisher and these games came out, these these games came out first. We still you know, Nintendo was still in Super NES mode um, and trying to transition into Nintendo sixty four. So um, just let you know what is uh, so. Just you want to know what is up with. Uh, TNA Impact in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, this is the final TNA Impact before Victory Road tomorrow. Well, I might have to do a little bit of, uh, you know, a little extra, extra, extra work on that. So, uh, let's start with uh, Steve Macklin versus Hammerstone, who uh, came out of a great battle against, uh, against Obafemi on NXT. Macklin won the matchup, but then Jake something tried to attack Steve Macklin. Eric Young came to even the score. So there's something going down with that. And the system addresses the Hardys and Nick Nemeth. And as they're trying to walk away, um, the heart, they, as uh, Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards will deal with the Hardys in the main, while Nick Nemeth will deal with Moose at Victory Road. And I'm going to try to get up, uh, you know, uh, let's see. Mm. Okay. So let's see. Uh, um. All right. Um. So. Um. So. Anyways. Um. Let's see if we can, um, yeah, give me a second here, folks. I'm going to take a little while, because, um, let's see how the Red Sox doing. Bottom of the 10th, they're tied at 1. Jeepers, the Red Sox are battling. So, let's see what we can do here. And, uh, let me just manage history first. Let me just, uh, okay, don't hold on. Alright. Let's uh uh Okay. So here are the matches that are gonna be happening at Victory Road. Uh but first so first foremost let's get to this. Um then uh, Steve Macklin addresses um addresses uh Hammerstone and then, then Eric Young you know, came with respect. He says, Listen, respect goes two ways. We, we respect each other. Then we had a tag team match against Jake Something and Hammerstone. Heather Reckless making her debut against the quintessential knockout Giselle Shaw. Ashby Elegance appears at ringside during the matchup, and she's like, Ashby Elegance has got a thing against Giselle Shaw. But she gets involved during the matchup, helping Heather Reckless win her debut match. More in that situation. And we have another knockout coming to TNA. Zaya Lee will be um, heading to TNA. Matt Cardona and Steph Delander uh, came to the ring. Matt Cardona was treating Delander like trash, saying that you're his prop property and such. And uh, Cardona addressed Santino Morella. And he named Steph Delander as his partner going against Rhino and PCO. And. Cardona's telling Delander what to do. Then PCO interrupts Cardona. Cardona was hiding behind Delander. Delander low blows Cardona. P 
prompting PCO to choke slam him, and they shared a hug in the end. Meanwhile, Gia Miller interviewed Spitfire concerned about their humongous matchup, and uh, so uh, and uh, you know Jody Threat and uh, Danny Luna have been determined that they're going to win the belts. We'll see what happens. Tornado tag matchup. ABC, the tag team champions, Chris Bay and Ace Austin against first class, the team of AJ Francis and KC Navarro. And uh, ABC ended up winning the matchup. And there's a promo on Jonathan Gresham, which is like an eternal war, a rebirth between his dark side and his pure side. We'll find out what happens in the end. Joe Hendry... Uh, 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 Joe Henry addresses the Lexington, Lexington crowd and he calls out Josh Alexander and but then since Alexander refused to show up he does a song on Alexander calling him Kurt Angle from Wish and Alexander appears uh, uh, responds to Hendry in this and then Jordan Grace confronts Ariana Gr Grace no relation by the way, I just realized this. Jordan Grace confronting Ariana Grace. Are they related sisters? I don't know. She says, everybody else in the NXT is welcome except for Wendy Chu. So, who uses a pillow as a weapon? The Sandman? Oh, you got funny. This Ariana, if I were you, would not be running your mouth right now in an angry Jordan Grace, man. And I'm just saying. Uh, Mike, Santana, Mike Santana addresses his next move. We don't know what that is. We'll find out for sure. Um... And meanwhile, uh, Zaya Brooks, uh, Zaya Brooks, I took on Ash by Elegance. George Iceman, the personal concierge, got involved uh, during the matchup, distracting the referee. But Heather Reckless um, gets involved to basically, um, basically do a favor, uh, possibly just help pay back, um, uh, help pay back uh, Ash by Elegance for helping, for helping her win her match. So. Um, Nick Nemeth addresses Moose. You know, so Ash by Elegance picks up the victory. Nick Nemeth addresses Moose as he as he's challenged, and Nick Nemeth is determined to stay the world heavyweight champion. And then Ash by Elegance and George Iceman were talking about that victory, and then Heather Reckless shows up, and George Iceman says, "Hey, if you want to make over and all that, here's my card. We'll do anything." So and. Ash by Elegance was kind of interested in the an alliance between Heather Reckless and her. We'll find out for sure. Meanwhile, uh, the Hardys went uh, in a tag match against Eddie Edwards and um, Brian Myers. And the Hardys ended up winning that matchup. So, with that being said, at Victory Road, there will be titles on the line in this on this Victory Road. And there are six matches on the card, and the majority of them are title matches, by the way. In fact, five of the six matches are title matches. So let's go down the rest. Zachary Wentz, the, the, team, um, the X Division champion, will defend, it against the, defend that X Division title against the former champ, Speedball Mike Bailey. Meanwhile, the Militia, Alicia Edwards and, and Masha Slamovich, will defend the tag team titles against the knockouts tag team titles against Spitfire. But if Spitfire does not win the belts, they must have disband as a team. ABC, that's Ace Austin and Chris Bay, will defend the tag team titles against the system Brian Myers and Eddie Edwards. Joe Hendry will go one-on-one -on -one with Josh Alexander. Jordan Grace will defend the TNA Knockouts Championship against NXT superstar Wendy Chu. And for the, main, and for the world title, Nick Nemeth versus Moose. Now, Let's go Zachary Wentz versus Mike Bailey. And who I pick in this matchup? Definitely Mike Bailey. I'll tell you why Wesley is going to get involved and cost Zachary Wentz the match. And that will lead to that street fight at the CW launch of NXT. The Militia. Alicia Edwards and Monster Slamovich. I do believe that Spitfire will win the belts back. So, unless there's a heel turn in the making. We'll find out. Ace Austin, Chris Bay versus the system, and I believe Ace Austin, Chris Bay will retain those tag team titles. 
Joe Hendry versus Jalen Alexander. I picked Joe Hendry to win that matchup. Jordan Grace versus Wendy Chu. I will pick Grace to retain uh, the belt, and Rosemary could get involved, though, will cause disqualification. Nick Nemeth versus Moose. I picked Nemeth to retain the title. So, that's all I got for you. So, don't know about you guys, but I am done. Been a long day. Got to get some sleep after getting, uploading this video. We shall see what happens there. So thank you very much for tuning in. And until the next episode comes. Oh yeah, that's right. Tomorrow, it's Friday the 13th. We're talking about all about luck. Let's see. Bullseye. It's all about daring. All about luck. There you got that. I'm going to try to play a little bit more of the Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection tomorrow. Hopefully I can get, I can set something up where I'll be able to do some gameplay on it. I'm going to practice it, practice it a little bit more with the Nintendo controllers. I know it's going to be difficult to do so, but I'm going to do my stinking best. So, thanks for tuning in, folks. For another episode of Eric Lewis Shenanigans 1977, I just got back, like I said, I got back from Rant and Rave. Excellent job. Kill two flies during Rant and Rave. Yes. Yay me. And I have a lot of fun. So, thank you for tuning into the show. So, that's it for now. So, all right, not only we got Bullseye, we got SmackDown premiere on the USA Network. I'm going to return. And AEW Rampage, NXT Level Up, and all that good stuff happening. So, I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. And until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Productions. And in association with a Raven Bofa Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.